Hey guys, this is Ian back with another video and today I'm going to unbox and review this iFi Zendek version 2. Right, so I got this uh, with my own money and I'm currently enjoying this very much. Uh, obviously, I've already opened it up, I've used it uh, and also I'm just going to do the unboxing just for the dramatic effect for this video. Right, so I'm just going to do a very quick unboxing of this video to show you guys what is in the box and then I'm gonna go through the specs of this device now but before I do that I hope you guys can subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos alright so this is the iFi Zendek version 2 It's currently retailing for 155 US dollars depending on where you are getting this from uh, and uh, is is a pretty nice desktop deck M all right so this is it's gonna stay uh, at your desktop it's not gonna move anywhere I previously unboxed the iFi uh, hip deck 2 and this is the portable uh, solution uh, for, from iFi and if you guys are interested uh, to watch the unboxing and review of this iFi hip deck 2 uh, do check out the link up above okay but this video is not about this iFi hip deck 2 is about this iFi Zen deck version 2 okay so on the front of the box is a very nice picture of the um, deck itself at the side is Zen okay on the other side is the picture of the back of the device okay so it shows you all the different ports at the back okay let's take a look at the back of the box uh, basically it shows you all the uh, features that you will find uh, which i'll go through uh, later okay and all the different specs as well and it does say that this is the upgraded version okay so let's just open this up and see what's inside when you get the um, device itself okay so very simple unboxing and pretty straightforward okay so when you open up the box you do get a very quick user guide and this user guide is very very useful uh, most of the time I would just put the user guide one side but this one is very very useful why because of this so over here it will show you uh, the type of audio format that is being streamed through your hip deck amp okay uh, sorry not hip deck a Zen deck amp right so if your the LED uh, is showing that particular color it will then tell you what type of format is being streamed which is quite important to me because I want to know uh, what type of sound quality that I'm receiving through to my headphones okay but besides that uh, it does also show uh, the different knobs and different positions of that function the corresponding function and the corresponding output okay even at the back here it does show you every single thing and also up to the specs of the device itself uh, since I'm here I might just go through the device and the specs okay so basically it does have uh, an input of the USB 3.0 uh, which is a B socket okay and the formats uh, that you can receive on this deck is from 41 44.1 Hertz all the way up to MQA which is the highest bit rate of any recording in digital format okay and the deck itself is a Bur brown bit perfect DSD and DXD deck chip which is a very very good uh, leading industry deck chip okay it does have the output uh, two different outputs okay um, two different types of output which is the balance 4.4 output which can go up to the 2 volts and uh, 2, 6.2 volts max in terms of variable the unbalanced RC uh, RCA output um, you can go up to 1 volt and 3.3 uh, volts which is the max okay uh, and then the headphone section uh, which 
we all are interested in. The output for the balance is 2 volt, uh, which is at uh, 6.4 volt um, maximum, and this can power go, uh, up to um, 600 ohms. Okay, so for most headphones, um, you will be able to power up um, with this Zen deck. Okay, for the unbalanced, uh, it's not as powerful, it, the output is not as much, uh, and it goes up to 300 ohms. So just bear that in mind. So if you want uh, more output, uh, you will then want to connect to the balance output, which is the 4.4 mil. Okay, so the specs here are pretty standard. Uh, not much to shout about, but it's not a very powerful uh, uh, amplifier, uh, if you ask me. But in order for most use, uh, this is uh, sufficient. Okay, so out of the box, uh, it gives you a iFi sticker. You can stick it on your uh, device or you can stick it to your car. Uh, this is a warranty card, pretty standard. Okay, let's put the device one side and let's take it look at what's provided inside okay so this is the accessories box let's, let's empty it okay silica gel okay so you do get an RCA cable all right this one will be connected to your bookshelf active speakers uh, it has to be active speakers because these uh, deck M won't be able to power up your speakers okay then you'll get the mentioned uh, USB B um, USB cable right and USB from to from USB A and you do get an adapter and this is from the 3.5 3 uh, jack to the quarter inch jack sorry so this quarter inch jack will then go into the device itself and you if you have any unbalanced uh, 3.5 headphone jack you'll then plug it into this which I'll show you later okay so let's take a look at the device itself right very nice and you know imme immediately i can feel the heft to it it's a very hefty device very heavy device and looking at the front here a very nice looking brush aluminum or stainless steel type of finish here you've got the buttery smooth volume knob here and then you have the power match switch uh, it's a little bit clicky and tactile. Uh, I kind of like the feel to it. It's a bit rattly if, you, if, I, if I shake it. Maybe at this angle, yeah. You can feel uh, or hear a little bit of rattling uh, to this button, but it's, it's pretty okay for me. Uh, then over here, you have the true base button, okay? And uh, on this side, you have the unbalanced uh, quarter inch uh, jack, all right, the female jack. And on this side, you have the 4.4 balance headphone jack, right? And at the back here, uh, on the top, nothing much, just the iFi logo. Uh, the back here, you do get the uh, balance jack as well, all right? And also, you have the RCA output, okay? So this one will go to your active speakers, okay? So this variable or fixed switch this switch here will um, switch between these two in terms of the volume control. Okay, so if you go to fix, the volume is fixed. When you come uh, switch it to variable, you you will be able to adjust the volume for your balanced headphone. Okay, and then on the uh, this part here, you have the USB C uh, digital input. All right, so this is where your uh, USB B uh, plug goes in. And you have an option for the DC 5 volt uh, power supply. So if you're not connecting uh, or getting power uh, from your USB B, uh, then you'll need to have a power adapter that is DC 5 volt. Uh, unfortunately, it's not uh, provided uh, in this box itself. Uh, so you will need to buy it separately. Okay, so um, basically on the inside, uh, it has a 16-core uh, chip. 
Okay, so this right here, you have the power match button, and uh, the power match button is more uh, useful for headphones. Uh, as you can see, I have my headphone right here, and um, if in order to get that power output to your headphone, uh, you will then need to press this power match so that you get more um, power output to your headphone. Right here, you have true bass, uh, which is you know useful for um, all your IEMs or your headphones or even speakers. Uh, so I have my the IEM here, which I use most of the time, and. Um, this true bass here really really makes the uh, boost up the bass of my IEM and even for my headphone as well. So this volume knob here is really nice and smooth. Uh, as you can see it's machine milled uh, made of stainless steel and you, you won't be able to hear any sound or any, any clickiness uh, from the volume knob is very very smooth and you can make micro adjustments to the volume It's very sensitive. So a little touch and a little turn uh, You'll get that minute control of the volume So over here you have the unbalanced uh, Output and uh, this one you will then need to have this adapter uh, This is a quarter inch um, female headphone jack so you need to plug this in okay in order to plug your IEM headphone jack usually the IEM headphone jack is 3.5 and that's how you connect the IEM to the Zen deck okay but if you have your headphone uh, and it does comes with the 4.4 uh, balance um, headphone jack then you'll then be able to directly pl plug it into the headphone the balance output itself okay so in terms of uh, connection and it's pretty straightforward uh, I like it where the connector connection is in front at the same time you do have one connection at the back here uh, you know um, this is more of a balanced output to another uh, speaker or something like that but for my headphone and my IEM I do normally connect uh, here on the outside okay so um, it's it's um, it's I've been using this for about one week now and um, Here's what I think of this uh, Zen Deck um, version two, right? So I also have been constantly been using my Hip Deck two, and why do I have these two? Now for this one, um, I use it when I'm traveling, when I'm on the uh, subway and uh, on the bus. Uh, this is a great option, and I use this very much. But in terms of this one. Uh, it's sitting on my desk and um, it's, I usually have my uh, resident uh, headphone or my resident IEM being connected to this and I don't touch it at all. So when I'm back home, all I need to do, turn this on, connect it to my computer and away I go. All right? So it's very convenient in that manner. Now, the only inconvenience is that it's big, it's not meant to be moved around uh, and uh, it's heavy so you won't be able to bring it around so uh, that's the reason why I have this option now uh, the other thing is that the power uh, supply so uh, it doesn't come with the power supply which is a bummer and um, I, I do hope that they it, it did but it didn't uh, I, I don't have a DC 5 volt um, power adapter so I, I won't be able to use the power at the same time um, you, you need to get um, a clean power source uh, in order to get in order not to get any interference or any static noise uh, when connected to the main power itself so um, for now I am not connected uh, using this 5 volt uh, DC power I'm just mainly using the USB uh, to power up this device and um, the output itself, um, the power output is not a lot, it's only at um, 300 um, watts, if I can see here, uh, 380 milliwatts, okay, so it's not a lot of power um, coming out from this um, amp, but it can power uh, headphones all the way up to 600 ohms, so for most people, I think uh, this uh, DAC 
M is good enough. Uh, compare them with um, the deck, the Zen uh, Zen can, and the Zen can um, does have more uh, power output uh, than this hi-fi Zen deck. Uh, but I, I I've connected both of them in with my my headphone. Uh, I do feel that you know the power is just that little bit better. Uh, I don't hear much of a difference anyway, so I so I went ahead to get this one um, instead of the uh, Zen Ken. Right. So um, how do they sound? I think the sound itself uh, is pretty good uh, as compared to the Hip Deck Two. Hip Deck Two, I would say, um, the sound coming out from it, the tone that you're getting, um, the Hip Deck Two is a little bit more. Uh, warmish uh, and the uh, power and the sound output from this um, Zen um, deck is more of a leaner type of sound, a cleaner, leaner type of sound. So I think uh, in terms of sound coming out from this, it is pretty good. Okay. Um, yeah. So I've been using this for a week now and I, f I find this very very convenient all right it just I don't need to bring this around the only thing is that I'm tethered to my desk uh, when I'm listening to my music but you know I don't want to walk around uh, while listening to my music it's not safe so yeah uh, I think 455 US dollars this is a great buy for most of us I mean I've looked around and I've seen many deck M combos out there and it does not come close uh, to this price point of 155 US dollars in a combo um, with this type of build, uh, this type of uh, quality, and this type of sound. So I do recommend um, you to get this uh, device. This is a great accompanying device for your headphones, for your IEMs. Uh, if you want better sound coming out from your headphones and your IEMs, this is a great device, uh, a company device uh, for your headphones and your IEMs. All right, so that's a very quick unboxing and uh, thoughts and opinions about this iFi Zen deck. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this video and uh, also enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, do consider to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified of my future videos. Alright, so that's it for this video. I thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day ahead and I'll see you again in my next video. Cheers.